Hey guys, good morning. Okay, so this is actually a two-part vlog. I started filming this yesterday and I haven't looked at the footage, but I have a feeling it's not enough footage for a full vlog. So I'm gonna do a little bit um, throughout the day and then I'll put it all together. So I'll do the first day now and then I'll catch up on day two. Good morning, guys. I have started probably three vlogs like in the last week and a half and then, I don't know, things happen. The day just... It doesn't work out or it's not a good day and I just like stop vlogging halfway through. So today I'm really gonna try and finish this and we'll see how it goes. Um, Forrest is down for his nap right now. His first nap, I told you, I don't know if I said in a video or on Instagram or what, that he was starting only one nap and that was amazing but it didn't last like any more than a week. He is doing way better on two naps right now. I think he's going through a leap so he's just like, he's not happy. <laughs> like almost all day. He's been so fussy the last few days and this morning he spilled a coffee on the rug. I think it's like staying forever. I need to work on it again. I worked on it for like 30 minutes and I was like, okay, I need a break from this. So I'm gonna try and work on that again because he ruined a rug like six months ago. I don't wanna buy a third rug in one year. Like that's ridiculous for the living room. So I'm gonna work on that. Um, I have some computer work I need to get done. And we are just stressed, honestly. Like we are stressed. We used to have a couple hours of help with Forrest a week and we don't have that right now. So it's just us and we both work full time from home. So honestly, it's not easy right now trying to get everything done. It is stressful, but I am trying to just remind myself that we are lucky that we can work from home and I'm trying to focus on the positives. You guys always tell me that I'm very positive and I know I am, but honestly right now we're just like not very positive. <laughs> we're just surviving right now. So yeah, I'm putting on my makeup, I'm gonna snap in my hair, make a coffee and get my life together. The clock is ticking. I don't know what I should do and I wish you would be right here with me. Forrest, I'm looking for the guy that spilled coffee all over my rug for the second time in six months. Have you seen him? He's blonde hair, blue eyes, 14 and a half months old. He's two foot something. Have you seen him? No? I have a feeling he's right here. <laughs> Oh, are you pointing? Yeah, that's you. Here she is. It doesn't look that bad on camera, but I've put so much stuff on it. I think it just needs to like sit for a little bit and then I'll come back and start scrubbing and I don't even know, like there's some of the couches you can see. Mom life. Do you have anything to say for yourself? He's like, no, I don't care. So bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see. I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late. I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you. We had to run a quick errand and destroy the house, which happens. In the blink of an eye, here's Forrest in his car seat looking real cute. And I ordered these sneakers that are dupe for a Golden Goose sneaker um, almost a week ago and they just got here. We're gonna open these upstairs because my camera's also dying, so I need to get a battery or a charger or whatever I can find. Had to charge my camera for a while. I just got some work done on my computer. Um, I put on the sneakers though. I wanted to show them. So the real ones from Golden Goose are literally like 300 to 500 and something dollars and I never really liked these that much but I've just seen them on Instagram for years like I don't know I feel like they've been in style at least three years so they started to grow on me and the thing about these sneakers I feel like I need to sit down so you can look at them better but the thing about this style is they have some scuff marks on them. Like that's how they're supposed to look. And I don't know, I just, 
hundreds and hundreds of dollars for scuffed sneakers to me is like wild even though they're supposed to look like that and I just am not the kind of person who would spend that much money on something like this so I found these on sale for 40 something dollars and the full price is like $100 they come in black and these are Steve by Steve Madden. I know Steve Madden, the box is over here. I know they have a couple lines. So there's like the Madden Girl, which is their most affordable line. And then I think the regular Steve Madden is like the middle of the road. And then I think this line is their highest end one. But 40 something dollars for something that looks so similar. I just can't get over the price difference. And these are so cute. I've always had sparkly shoes, like those ones from Tory Burch, those slides I got on 6pm.com. Those were all sparkly. I don't know, I just, it's like the five-year-old in me, I guess, guys, but then the star. And I really like, I'm gonna hold one. I feel like that's the best way to show you. I really like how there's a zipper right there. So it's so easy for you to put it on since you don't have to lace them up. And then the other side, is like this and i just looked i wanted to make sure that they were in stock before i showed them and a lot of the sizes are still in stock and they're still on sale so if you're watching this like soon after i post it and you like them i got my normal size by the way i'm an eight and a half sometimes an eight but i got an eight and a half and they fit really good they're roomy it's not like a super fitted style shoe so that's that i'm gonna go downstairs and see what forest and chad are up to he just got back from the grocery store Forrest woke up from a second nap. I had to get some stuff done, some things I had to send in, so let's head down. Here's my mess on the stairs from last night. The whole house is a disaster. Hey, bud. Where is Boris? Where is Valley is poking out. Is it hard to walk with that big valley? Where? Oh. Where's Forrest? There he is! There's my baby. thinking about me too. Now it's too late. Now it's too late. I'm out of time. Had to come down here and grab my camera. We're about to have dinner. We're listening to Kids Bop. And yeah, so you guys are missing out a lot. It never rings in California. The sun is always shining bright. People are smiling, making plans, hiding behind the shade. And you're doing the same No rain, no flowers Nothing's growing where you're at Heart is fire, but baby I'll be we we're happy together Somebody have bath time? <laughs> and now it's wild boy time Let's be crazy boys This is the crazy frog <laughs> <gasps> there he is! There is a phone! <laughs> Are you gonna go hide again? Oh man, we lost him again. We lost him, he's gone. No idea, I don't see any of the curtains moving. <gasps> there, there he is! Look at the belly! Right, and welcome to a day two. So I just got to the store. I need to do um, some shopping for Christmas for Forrest, like a few things that I have just been like thinking about that I wanted to get for him. I need some groceries and then like wrapping paper and random things like that. So I figured I would take you guys along and I honestly have not been out shopping in a very long time. So hopefully I don't take forever because I feel like I need a lot of stuff. What did I just do with my mask? Here's the mascara I use. This one, the orange one is the best one, but if they don't have it in stock, then this one's good too. Hello, hello, 
I've not been very good at vlogging, but I figured I'd wrap this video up by showing you two different house projects. We started like the progress of them and then where they're headed. I know you guys love to see like house updates and all of that. And I figured I would just mention, I ordered these in an eight. I just wanted to see if they would fit better because they are a wider fit. So they were a little bit roomy. They are a little bit roomy, but I'm gonna find someone who wants the eight or return them or something because the eight and a half I should have stuck with. So just figured I'd mention that and then I'm gonna take you guys into the bathroom and show you what's going on in there. So most of you know this, this hallway in our bedroom, it leads to the master bathroom. And we decided that we're gonna do the same flooring in the bathroom, that's why it's like started. Some of you guys thought this was a real marble or like a real tile, it's not at all. It's just like a rolled up flooring thing. So that's why we wanted to switch it out and put a nicer flooring in here and it'll feel like a master suite that way. Um, and basically our plan right now is to update this space and make it a little nicer. We're not gonna do the super expensive stuff until we've lived here for a couple years and we have decided like if we're gonna stay for a long time. So the super expensive things I'm talking about are the countertop, the backsplash is 50-50 right now. I don't know if Chad is willing to put up a new backsplash right now and then the tile in the shower. So those ones are gonna stay for right now but we did put on a new shower door. I think I showed this in a video. Some of you probably have missed it though. It used to be a shower curtain. This looks a zillion times better than a shower curtain. And then I wanted to show you the mixed metal we're doing. So this color is the same as um, the light fixtures that are going over the vanity. I just pulled out part of it to give you an idea of what that's gonna look like. And then this is the color of the faucets. Polished nickel is what it's called. So it's kind of silvery. The shower head is obviously in, but we don't have the handle in yet because the plumbing is opposite, so I have to get a different handle. Then here's a view from this side. So the mirrors we're gonna switch out and then the light fixture I just showed you. And I really want a Kirkland's mirror to come in stock. I literally check like once a week for months because it looks like anthropology and it's $100 instead of like four or $500 each. A very big, a very big price difference for a very similar look. So if you know like those anthropology floral style mirrors, that's the vibe I'm trying to go for. And then the faucets will be the exact same finish as the shower head. So it's not like super extreme updates, but it's enough that it's gonna feel very, very different in here. I'm standing in the corner of the room. I just walked in and shut the door. So this is technically a bedroom. This is what it looks like right now. Same mirrors from the old house. People ask me about these mirrors all the time. They're from Ikea and our plans for this room are to paint it white. I have the white paint already. I just need to do it. And then I got a light fixture from Costco that's way brighter. It was only $15. It's not cute. It's very simple, but I don't really care what the light fixture looks like in here. I just wanted something, I don't know, really bright and not too expensive. And then as far as flooring goes, I know Chad wants to do a cork flooring. And I don't think I've ever seen that in person. If I have, I didn't realize what it was. And he's never worked with it. I've never worked with it. So we just need to do some research and see if it's really difficult to install or if it's not a big deal. The carpet is so easy for us to rip up. We did that in our room um, and in the living room. So paint, stuff on the walls. I don't know what, but if any of you guys have tips and are like actual workout people, because you know we're not, let me know what you think or like any ideas. A lot of stuff like this I want to put on the walls, one for safety reasons because of forest, but also it looks better and there's way more floor space. So what we're going to do is, um, as far as floor space goes, is the treadmill is going to go in that corner. The bike is going to go next to it and we're going to push them like a foot further this way so there's a good amount of floor space. We do have extra flat screen TV to put on the wall in here so we can do like workout videos on one side and then the bike and the treadmill on the other. And then the water roller is probably going to stay up like this. It stores, as you can see, really easy. So we'll put that in a corner and simple things in here, but I know it's gonna make a big difference. The white walls are gonna make it feel larger. And then last thing, do any of you guys put up accountability charts or anything like that? I would love to put something on this wall, like a motivating saying or and a chart that says like each day we worked out and what we did so we can see it at the end of the month i feel like that would be really motivating just something to put on the wall that is motivating i guess what i'm trying to get at if you have any ideas then write it below 
And that's everything for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and seeing like a lot of different snippets. Um, if you do have any video requests, please write them below. The holidays are basically over, so I'm excited to like start the new year on the right foot, be productive, be motivating, be positive, get stuff done, and keep it up. So yes, thank you for being here. Please subscribe, please like, check out the links below. There's recent videos, those shoes, and more. And I will see you right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye.